Well, I'm sure you've heard of the Adani saga by now. Wherever in the world you are, you must have heard about it. Last week on This World, I recapped the length and the breadth of this unprecedented crisis for one of India's largest conglomerates. But here's a quick gist. A short-selling firm known as Hindenburg Research released a report a couple of weeks back accusing the Adani group of what it called brazen stock manipulation and accounting fraud. In response, the Adani group had branded the report maliciously mischievous, a massive 400-page rebuttal. But the effect that this had on Adani stocks, however, was massive. Billions of dollars in valuation were wiped out. It was nothing short of a bloodbath. It caused havoc with the company's follow-on public offering, or FPO, which the company eventually withdrew, even though it was fully subscribed, with Gautam Adani saying that he felt it would be not morally correct to proceed considering the volatility of the market. Now, a week later, some of the dust seems to be settling specifically when it comes to the stock markets. Adani stocks have recovered, in fact, recovered quite dramatically over the last couple of days. They're still a long distance away from the pre-Hindenburg peak, but the real question many are going to be asking now is, is the worst over? Now, I'm just going to take a look. This is what happened today. Just today, for example, Adani Enterprises is up something like 20%. Ports up very sharply. Many other Adani groups were up at the 5% circuit breaker. One or two of them are still down. Total Gas in particular continues to get beaten. But many of the other stocks have bounced back today. And they did bounce back yesterday as well. So they've recovered a lot of the ground. Now, why the bounce back? There have been at least three crucial developments over the last few days which may have contributed to some sort of a bounce back and perhaps a slightly higher amount of confidence among investors. Number one, multiple Adani companies have announced or are set to announce their earnings for Q3 of this financial year. Among them, Adani Transmission, which reported a 73% jump in consolidated net profit year on year. Adani Ports reported their EBITDA up 15% to thereabouts year on year. They also said they've got their highest ever revenue. Adani Green Energy, meanwhile, reported its third quarter net profit up about 110% over the last year. Ambuja Cement, remember this was acquired by the Adani Group just, just last year, also reported a pretty big 46% growth in year-on-year profit. So, number one, some of the results that have come out for some of these Adani stocks have been seen positively by the market. And number two, and perhaps even more crucially, the Adani Group's promoters have actually come forward to say that they are prepaying loans and they intend to prepay other, other loans, which should again restore some confidence. For example, $1.1 billion just been, uh, they've announced they're going to be repaying $1.1 billion, releasing pledge shares in three of the companies we've just spoken about, Adani Ports, Adani Transmission, and Adani Green Energy. These loans, by the way, were not due until September 2024, and that's why the market saw this as uh, something which, they, which is supposed to be boosting confidence. And hey, we don't need to repay these loans right now, but guess what? We're going ahead and doing it anyway. That's how much money we have, and that's how comfortable we are. That's what the promoters did, and it seems to have worked, at least at the stock markets, it seems to have worked. And third, when it comes to the India story, India's regulators and policy makers have been rather quick to come out to try and dispel any notion of a broader systemic risk. Here, for example, is what the RBI governor had to say just this morning. The strength, the size and the resilience of the Indian banking system is now much larger and much stronger to be affected by, you know, an individual incident or a case like this. And the appraisal methods of Indian banks have significantly improved over the years. So is the crisis over when it comes to the markets or for the group? But of course, way too early to say. There's a long way to go. Anything could happen tomorrow. Anything could happen day after. Another report could come out. But for the moment, at least when it comes to the stock markets, the selling seems to have subsided. And as a result of all of this, the action for the moment seems to have moved from the markets to the political arena and to parliament in particular. A place where the opposition seems to believe that it has finally found what it considers a good weapon to use against the Modi government. Both the upper and the lower houses of parliament have seen protests and disruptions by opposition parties over the issue. They also then stop the disruptions to say, let's have a debate because during the debate we can try and bring focus 
on the Adani group. And the Adani group is clearly one of the main areas of focus during the reply to the president's speech, where Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, for example, spoke at some length, directly linking the success of the Adani conglomerate to what Mr. Gandhi termed his close relationship with Prime Minister Modi. Keral me, Tamil Nadu me, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Himachal, Kashmir, sab jage, Adani, 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 Adani. Dusra sawal tha ki ye Adani ji hai, ye kisi bhi business me ghus jate hai. Pehle ye ek do business karte the, ab ye आठ दस सेक्टर्स में काम करते हैं हम सड़क पे चल रहे हैं मैं पूछूं किसने बनाई अडानी जी <laughs> तो लोगों ने यह भी पूछा कि राहुल जी ये जो अडानी जी जो हैं इनकी सफलता कैसे हुई ये इतने बिजनेसेस में कैसे घुस गए इतनी सफलता कैसे प्राप्त हुई और सबसे जरूरी जवाब तो सवाल इनका हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री के साथ क्या रिश्ता है और कैसा रिश्ता है द बीजेपी इन टर्न वॉज क्विक टू रिस्पॉन्ड पॉइंटिंग टू वर इट कॉल द कांग्रेस पार्टी ओन ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड दिस वॉज अ डायरेक्ट रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हिमसेल्फ लिसन इन टू वॉट ही सेड जो अहंकार में डूबे होते हैं जो बस सब कुछ हम ही को ज्ञान है सब हमारा ये सही सही है ऐसी जो सोच में जीते हैं उनको लगता है कि मोदी को गाली दे करके ही हमारा रास्ता निकलेगा मोदी पर झूठे अनाप शनाप कीचड़ उछाल करके ही रास्ता निकलेगा अब 22 साल बीत गए वो गलत फहमी पाल करके बैठे हुए हैं क्या ये झूठे आरोप लगाने वालों पर मुफ्त राशन प्राप्त करने वाले मेरे देश के 80 करोड़ देशवासी क्या कभी उन पर भरोसा करेंगे क्या